Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to Three Dorks Play. Welcome back to Three Dorks Go on Vacation. So we will see you guys next time. I'm just kidding. I fooled you, though. I definitely got you going there. You thought I wasn't going to play this game, didn't you? You thought we were going on hiatus. No, we're not. Mario's going on vacation, but I'm not. I'm still sitting here playing games. But you know what? It's totally worth it. All right, everybody. Welcome to Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, it has been quite some time since I last played a 3D Mario platformer. In fact, the last, I think the last Mario game we played on this channel was Mario 64. Yeah, this is my, this is my account. I'm not using the Three Dorks account for this. Don't need to because I got an account. I got a file here. I'm going to just start right here on the C. It's the, you know, it's the third block. So, Three Dorks. We're good. Um, Okay. I was thinking about what I'm planning on doing for this playthrough. Ryan has done a lot, Ryan has done a few 100% runs with his Spyro games, and I kind of want to do the same for this game. I want to do my first 100% uh, run, and Sunshine is one that I can do. Granted, I'm going to need a walkthrough or a guide for all those damn blue coins, especially the ones in Noki Bay, but I'm going to do my best to 100% run this. Second, in terms of episode length, um, I am, it's, it, like I said, it's been a while, and I remember Super Mario 64 was a little bit iffy with its episode length. So what I'm going to aim for is anywhere in between 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so for, like, if I can get stuff done, a good amount of stuff done within 15 minutes, then I'll call it there. If I'm in the middle of an episode, at, like, after, and I go beyond 15 minutes, yeah, I'm going to finish it, but then after that, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the moment I've reached beyond 15 minutes. Like, if I go beyond 15 minutes, what I'm doing is the last thing I'll be doing. Also, as, I don't know if you can tell or not, I am actually playing this on the Switch. I'm playing this through Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Because why not? Let's give a little bit of an... Let's go extra quality, even though it's really not that big of a difference. Um, yeah, so Mario Sunshine. Easily my favorite 3D platformer of all time. It is my favorite 3D Mario platformer of all time. I absolutely love this game. Because Flood is got to be one of the most diverse items ever used for Mario's moveset. Absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely love all the things you can do with Flood. I absolutely love the overall environments of Mario Sunshine. I love the vacation theme. Uh, Delfino Plaza is overall a really nice overworld hub. All the worlds are very nice. So, I, and for some a game that I'm praising as much, of course I would want to go the full, the extra mile for this game. That's why I want to do the full 100% playthrough because I want to do everything. <coughs> Which means, yes, we will be doing the infamously, notoriously hard levels of this game that, yes, have gained their reputation for how just over-the-top hard they can be. This includes the Panchinko Machine, which is probably one of the most notorious examples, and the Lily Pad Ride, which is a notorious example for not only just trying to get there, no, I do not want to hear it again. It's also a hard level. Uh, I'm also playing with my GameCube controller. Uh, all the updates have been made so that you, it basically plays exactly like the original, which is nice. I just have to get used to it all over, all over again. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all I need to say if I've already said everything. If I'm forgetting anything, well, who knows. Hey. Hey, man. I didn't even notice this guy over here before. How's it going? Oh, he's not going. Okay, we go clean up. We clean up the goo. We do Mario Gen We are Mario Genther now. See what I mean by awesome moves? Like, you do this. Wait. 
Oh, a little trigger happy there. No, that's not. Oh, I'm wasting a lot of water too. That's uh, not a good start. But yeah, Mario Sunshine, one of my favorite games. Really excited to play it. And, you know, for anybody wondering, yes, this does mean we will eventually be playing Mario Galaxy in all those games, too. Um, if anything, though... <clears throat> um, Mario 3D World, that's a game we do intend on playing. However, I refuse to play that game if we're not doing it as a group. Because there, I think it would be hella fun if me, Ryan, and Kate all played, uh... Mario, Super Mario 3D World together. Is this supposed to be inverted? I forget. Oh well. Mmm, <coughs> sun. Big first shine sprite. Um, I think I'm also going to try and divide all these episodes based on activity. So, like, I'll devote episodes to, um, secret levels every once in a while instead of, like... I'm going to try to be a little organized for this playthrough. So, if I start an episode going into Bianco Hills, I will likely devote th that episode to Bianco Hills. So let's put it that way. If I start an episode aiming to go through some secret levels, then I'll be going to any secret level that I can access at the time of doing that. The base of this game is that I can face the final boss once I have beaten the seventh mission of every world. However, obviously, since I'm going above and beyond that, I am going to do as much... I'm pretty much going to do the entire game before I fight Bowser. I know I can do that. But that does mean that I have to enter Corona Mountain and then immediately, well, I have to effectively get to Bowser and then leave because Corona Mountain has 10 blue coins in it. And Corona Mountain's the final level, that's where you fight Bowser. It's got 10 blue coins in it and nine of them are literally at the very, very end. So I have to effectively get there and then leave because there are... If I'm correct, 120 blue coins spread... Of, no, 200... 240? There are a lot of blue coins. I know there are 30 per world. Yeah, there's got to be at least 250 blue coins. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Either way, there are a lot of blue coins. 30 per world. 10 in uh, Corona Mountain. I think 10 on the airstrip, maybe? Or, like, there's a bunch of blue... And Duffy and Applause as well. But those are Shine Sprites. Every 10 blue coins is a Shine Sprite. Which means I have to do that first before I fight Bowser. Also, Mario, good job. You got yourself locked in prison for the first time. I think that was like, what, 2001, 2002? Not bad, considering you, what, started in 1985? This is the first time you've been to jail, I think. Not including any of the times Bowser's locked you up, if any. And not including Luigi's Mansion, because that wasn't being held in jail. That was literally being turned into a painting. I also can't skip cutscenes, so hey, congrats. We have no choice but to watch this now. But I think and now that I... Okay, another thing I was actually thinking of regarding episode length is that if I'm recording alone, I don't think I need to be nearly as strict about it. I'm still choosing to, to be consistent. Plus, I have my own things to do. Um, but yeah, I think one of the only reasons why we were kind of strict on our episode times was simply because we all had stuff to do. Mark didn't want to be like recording the entire time, but Mark's not here anymore. So I guess realistically speaking, we can go as long as we want. But I'm still going to aim for 15 to 20 minutes on this. Your first job is to get all rid of all of that ugliness. Okay, don't worry, man. I will get rid of... That shine sprite's not even attached to your hat. Is that a bad? <coughs> Alright, guys. Well, you heard the man. Our first task is to get rid of all that ugliness. Guys, it's not working. It's not working. He's not going away. <laughs> get the joke. Get the joke. If you get the joke, like the video. 
He wasn't getting clean though, so I think that's not the ugliness we were looking for. Ooh, blue coin! Getting our first blue coin! This game also, uh, like, saves a lot, so I have to hope that no episodes go wrong. Save and continue. Well, okay, I guess I can choose to just continue, but... I'm also a very... I have a habit of just immediately saving, so... Alright! Let's clean up all this crud. Look at all the water I can spray. Boom. Hey, Toad! How's it going, big guy? It says the A button, but I'm pressing the B button. Gotta get rid of it all. All that ugliness, you know? Also, I gotta spread out the episode. Also, yeah, there's something about, like, oh, well, now I can, I can see why. But, um, the goop can't actually be fully clean beyond a certain point. But I think that's simply so that I can keep spawning those little grody guys. <coughs> okay, you're gonna be confusing me a lot with this press the A button to talk to people. And then, you know, I'm pressing the B button. Water, please. It's a good thing we're surrounded by water at all times. Also, it's very dark here. Right now. Go out the polluted piranha plant. Get out here, big boy. Let me clean. Oh yeah, that definitely needs to be inverted. Uh, can I do? I can't do that here. I have to do that from the main menu. No. I'll, I'm gonna... Uh, try to remember to do that? I don't even remember how to exit out here. Oh well. Maybe I'll do that in between episodes. Guys, look at Shadow Mario! A cool concept that... Well, okay. I wouldn't say new, cool or new. Let's be real. How many people have tried to impose as Mario? Duplist did it in Thousand Year Door. You got cosmic clones spread across most multiple different games. I mean, Bowser Jr. is really the first person to try and actually frame Mario, and I'm not even gonna give him credit for that because the Piantas are just stupid. Okay, oh, coin. Oh, that's another thing I have to remember to do: the hundred coin missions for each world. Get over here. Nice try. You're using something? What do you call the brush that you have? Ow. Oh, he just ran into me. Gotta beat him there. Oh, jeez. Where are you? Hey, man. What's it going? How's it going? Beat you to it. <laughs> I didn't even get hit by that one. Um... Okay, so I have basically reached episode time. I would not have enough time to start something. However, we're not going to leave empty-handed. We are... I know... I know all there is to know about this game. We're not leaving empty-handed, my friends. We're getting a shine spray regardless. Let's go. This will This will cover our episode. Get that shine sprite, and next time we're off to Bianco Hills to start the first mission, well, proper mission of this game. By the end of this, Delfino Plaza will be clean and will be bright again. So, we will see you guys next time.